the question today is on trigonometric equations and the question reads solve for theta in the equation sine 3 theta plus 120 is root 3 over 2 in the range 0 to 180 so what you're simply going to have is we have root 3 over 2 so i wish to interpret this from the triangle or special angles that is 30 and 60 so we take an equilateral triangle so that here is 60 60 and 60 for this angle 2 and then we have this perpendicular bisector of the base which also bisect angle 60 here so up here we have 30 so if here is 2 2 and then the base here is also 2 so that this part is 1 and 1 then using Pythagoras theorem the height here is root 3 so that sine of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse so opposite over hypotenuse so that is with respect to angle 60 so this simply implies that sine 3 theta plus 120 is equal to root 3 over 2 implies that 3 theta plus 120 which is the sine inverse of root 3 over 2 is 60. So the next thing is to interpret this on a unit circle. So remember the sign was positive for this case, so we had positive root 3 over 2. So that means that the angle 3 theta plus 120 should be lying in the first quadrant. So remember we have this. So in the first quadrant all angles are acute. So already 60 lies in this quadrant. And then the next one is right here where sine is positive. So at this particular point, we get the angle we are looking for by simply having 180 minus the acute angle theta. So that means the next angle we are interested in is 180 minus the acute angle 60 so that we will have 60 and 120 so we are going to have a list remember this is for one revolution so for the second revolution we keep on adding 360 to these values so 360 to 60 that is 420 again 360 to 120 that is 480 next we can also add 360 to 420 and that should be 780 so sorry so let's stop at, at that so we are going to take remember this is equated to 3 theta plus 120 so we're going to take 3 theta plus 120 equate to each and every value on the right hand side and then get the values of theta in turns so here theta is going to become so 3 theta plus 120 equated to 60 that means you're going to have negative 20 degrees so when you equate it to 120 we are simply going to have so 3 theta is equal to 120 minus 120 is 0 divided by 3 is 0 next we are going to have 100 for 420 for 480 we are going to have 120 and for 780 we are going to have 220 so note that in the question we are told that our values need to be in the range 0 
to 180. So that means negative 20 is nullified and 220 is also nullified. So we pick the values within the range. So that implies that theta is 0, 100 and 120. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.